so at four o'clock this morning when I got up, I definitely had a message from Spirit come in about this whole Trump thing. That the 2016 election was a distraction. This assassination attempt is a distraction. Um, and it's intended to distract us from waking up. From waking up the chosen ones and I want to talk about that well I don't know if I wanted to talk about it but I wanted to dive into it a little bit deeper so let's clear and ground the energy burn some sage my pendulum's over here on its stand, doing its thing. Let's start. to keep the 144,000 waking up or from waking up you know it's true I also feel like that's partially because he's so um, supportive of the evangelicals alright spirit what do you want to tell us about this situation First card, the fool in reverse. I don't know. This is rebellion. What's being rebelled against? The Eight of Swords. Expansion, Gemini energy. feeling trapped, restricted, backed into a corner. So this is rebellion because of restriction. What else? Five of Wands reversed. now reaching the end of this conflict. This is also <clears throat> Saturn and Leo energy. Saturn's about responsibility. Okay, so we the people are pissed off. How's that? We the people are pissed off. Here's the thing though, like, I haven't, I haven't watched the news in about four years. <clears throat> because I've always kind of felt that this whole thing with Trump has been a distraction. I mean, I dove so deep into Bible prophecy um, at the start of COVID, the end of 2019, beginning of 2020. I drove, uh, dove so deep into Bible prophecy that like I could see where the distraction was I could see where Trump was like a Cyrus character 
saving Babylon at the beginning of his term. And I think that he was placed by the deep state. I just heard Spirit say that there's got to be Hansi confirmation. I just heard Spirit say that there's got to be some kind of a, re a rebellion by the people to bring an end to this. <clears throat> We're going into civil war. Isn't that interesting? Now's this time to stand up for yourself. <laughs> like really, the strength and the the strength with the Queen of Swords. Like if you're affecting, if you're being affected by this situation, like if you're feeling some kind of way with this assassination attempt, I think you need to take a deep down look inside and figure out why. Because if you're not seeing the deception being um played out here when he got shot yesterday his secret service guys were scrambling around like a bunch of idiots instead of trying to like or at least the one in front of the podium instead of trying to protect him he was scrambling around like an idiot if you don't see the deception in all of this right now Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got the Nine of Cups in reverse. If you don't open your eyes and see the deception of this, all it's going to bring is more, more shattered dreams. Because if he gets elected, You know there's an agenda for 2030. Look that up. Look up the 2030 agenda. At the bottom of the deck is the devil reversed with the four, oh no, I'm sorry, the eight of pentacles reversed.
he's too ambitious. He's toxic ambitious. The post the other day, I mean, I can repost it. I can repost it. But that post the other day about these people who just like randomly like say shit over and over again, that also is, that's distractive talking. That's so that you don't see what's actually going on behind the scenes. go here to the seeker oracle and see <clears throat> what else what else do we need to know about this deception with Trump what else do we need to know I mean everything laid out here just, you know, um, reiterates what I heard this morning. Leap of Fortune. Stand up and fight. Here and now. So there you go. <clears throat> As I'm being validated for my post that I made this morning about this deception, about the whole Trump thing, I just want to put this back in your mind. The media and all the media, not just like um, the Daily Wire or Vice or uh, Alex Jones, all of it, mainstream and viral YouTube news, all the media, they're only seeing what they want, or they're only showing what they want you to see, I should say. You're not seeing the bigger picture because they don't want you to see the bigger picture. This is all just an illusion. What it's all going to eventually come to is more division across the United States. And if you're on this path, you should have grown past division at some point follow my channel, you follow um, really anybody who's got information about spirituality that is genuine. We're all talking about unity. The churches aren't talking about unity. The churches want more division. Trump's causing division. He's not causing unity. Now, do I think that he was brought in to be a catalyst of change from source? Absolutely. He was brought in to wake us up. But the people who stayed 
in his energy. Are blind. We the people are pissed off. It's okay to pay attention to what's going on. Um, definitely pay attention to what's going on, but pay attention to it in such a, such a minuscule way that you're not affected by um, by the division. Because you will fall into that trap. You'll fall into the Republicans versus Democrats, Trump versus Biden. You're gonna fall into it and and it's going to take you off of your path. That's that's what this is all about. Keeping the 144,000 from waking up. So, that's what I got. I just need you to come on here and say something. Love you guys. Enjoy your, the rest of your day today. Bye.